Here's Callum Wilson holding off the attentions of the defender on this near side. Kitching. Wilson was strong, finds Solanke just outside the box. Back to Callum Wilson who tries to burst into the box. Gets a shooting chance and blazes it past the near post. Forest Green reclaiming a free kick there from referee Dean Whitestone. But Wilson's strength told there that he wasn't quite there. The runners on the right-hand side. Nice bit of work from Grubb, switching over to the right flank here. He's got Bernard outside him. Forest Green's first meaningful attack. Dale Grubb to the edge of the box. Opportunity coming in the end, but Cherry's got numbers back there. And a snapshot goalwards comes in from Morton in the centre of midfield, and that goes uh, wide of the post. Harry Wilson, surely not again. Left-footed, not too far away, just fizzes over the crossbar this time, went more centrally this time, Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson with the corner from this near side, the goalkeeper came, challenged by Sermon, keeper got a fist on it, comes out to this near side, Harry Wilson cannons it against the defender, then picks up the return ball from Andrew Sermon, Harry Wilson tipped away by the keeper, good save, Willicott. Wilson got in in close range inside right channel, stabbed it goalwards, but the goalkeeper got down smartly. Solanke with a little flick to Jordan Eye, that was a nice bit of understanding. Eye with a turn, straight into trouble, comes back to Sermon, he might shoot, onto his right foot, not framed for his shots with his right foot, still has it on his left, Andrew Sermon, and wide of the post, the captain. And then Kilkenny puts in Solanke, and then Solanke stumbles over in the box, still going Solanke here, Callum Wilson's in there, and then a chance for Stacey, into a cluster of defenders, and the chance goes begging, and Forrest Green bring it away. Right-footed, drives it in, pretty flat towards the penalty spot, the heads go up, and it's broken in the end for Rawson, and headed down and off the line. Andrew Sherman was in there, got a body in the way, and it bounced up to Travers, and Forrest Green have come the closest we've had to scoring a goal. Rico down the left-hand side, trying to get across in, it's a good knock from Rico. Solanke's full on the on the ground in the penalty area, whether he was pulled or whether he slipped that time, it was well away from the ball. Stacey was brave there as that ball broke, got a foot in. Sermon now to uh, Solanke again, just outside the box. Dominic Solanke shoots for goal, blocked away. Still for Solanke, just outside the box, shoots again. And this time, has it come off a uh, Forest Green defender? Officials haven't pointed anywhere at the moment. Goal kick, I think, in the end, by natural processes, and everyone started to walk away. King could be away here, Kitching definitely getting trying try to get back with him, he tried to hack him down, play continues, King drives it in towards Solanke, oh, it took a touch off the defender, and bounces into the goalkeeper's hands, I'm certain there'll be a yellow card for Kitching when the ball comes back for that attempted hack to take King out. As it's picked up by King and now Solanke between a couple of players. Jordan I knocks it in for Stacey, who's suddenly in behind. Jack Stacey off the post. Oh, and somehow Joshua King on the ground as he put that over the bar. We're going to see Joseph Mills off the substitute bench in a moment for Forrest Green, who's their top scorer. It might break in the area for King. Shoots goalwards, blocked by Woolacott. To the near post it comes with Sermon flicks it away and lash past the post by Kitching. A shootout it is after a nil-nil draw. It's King first up, no problem. Scores into the right-hand side of the goal. Mills steps up left foot in and Travers makes a good save. Moving away to his left-hand side. It remains one nil to Bournemouth after one penalty. He's got to do his job from 12 yards here. Up against Woolacott. It's going to be right-footed, stuttering run-up and rolls it into the bottom left-hand corner. Red and black fans, they're waving them to try and put Dawson off against Travers. He saved it again! Two out of two, Mark Travers. He's having the luck of the Irish at the moment, the big man. Here comes Ibe then to put the Cherries right in the box seat. Right-footed, saved by Woolacott. Down to his left. Not a great penalty. Good save. James Morton to try and get Forrest Green on the board here in the shootout. Travers again! Three out of three for the Cherries goalkeeper. Can the Big Danes see them home here? It's Billing, rifles at home! No mistake from that one. And in the end, the hierarchy tells the Premier League side go through and they all run to their Irish goalkeeper, Mark Travers. Impregnable in the shootout. 
three saves from three penalties. The Cherries scored three and they are going through to round three.